This is my interactive iBook, available on the iBook store. Go to the iBook store and type in the title The Birth Section 2 Amalia by Kate Lynch and you will see this. Download the interactive iBook, which lives on your iBooks app. Let's look at the birth. This interactive iBook begins not with prose, but with a film. We've already seen this film, so let's move on to the details of Amalia. Each page has several interactive elements. On this first page, you'll see this pop-up. Here is the family tree. This is Amalia's family tree, as well as Justin's. Justin was the section before this one. The family tree will grow throughout different sections as more characters are introduced. Down here, you can tap on my web page, which brings you to the internet and to my web page. There, you can go back, buy books, watch films, find out about live events, and go to Facebook. On Facebook, you can see the live events, watch videos, or, of course, come back to the interactive iBook. Let's look at a little more of the interactive elements of the birth. Once you're back in your library, you can look at the birth a little more. This first page shows people how to interact with this. It shows how these tap up pop-ups work. It shows how to activate a film. You found the arrow. That was it. You did it. Go. Shows the audio. Yes, this is the play bar. You found it. You can. And how to interact again with these scroll downs. You can see the thumbnail of the whole book in the table of contents and all the pros that you see here lives as recorded audio here. When my five-year-old sister, Frederike, was sacrificed to the Schmidgold. This is where our story begins. There's more information, information that doesn't come in the general body of the text. Little pieces that can stand alone or be part of it. And there's audio up here which corresponds. Upon Frederike's death, Granny Warner believes that Frederike's horrible fate is born of two. Again, we have the family tree on each page. Granny Warner had given me vials of this and that to bring to Lowenstein on my visits. The this and that was aimed to calm Frederike's unusual temperament and to slow and dampen the sight. On each of my few visits over the years, Frederike refused the vials and emptied their contents into the window box. Grandmother Schmidgel had made her promise to disavow Granny Warner's devilish and outdated ways. At night, when we lay down to sleep, I imagined the content of the vials slowly spreading through the dirt in the window box. I could see strange flowers that were born of Granny Warner's care and attention meant for Frederike. Blossoms too large and too lovely, heavy pinks and downy blues, flowers with mouths that speak words so soft, I could almost hear their whispering through the haze of early slumber. These are examples of little mini films that I have embedded into the interactive iBook. They are different characters coming to life both through the prose and through the images. 
On the next page, we have more prose as well as the family tree that keeps being available on every page. And then we have what I call mini dialogue films. Sir, this daughter of yours is fortunate to have been born to a woman of such high and respectable standing such as my daughter. As you can hear, it is my voice that I've overdubbed over these characters. There's two reasons for that. One is logistical. I can shoot these films anywhere through social media at live events in my studio and overdub my voice. As well, I'm the author, so it's conceptually my story still, even though you're catching images. On further pages, you keep looking into drawers and doors to find more secrets and stories behind all the characters. And with each drawer and door, there's an audio bar. I have died. I am through. This last page repeats itself with each section. In this last scroll down, you'll see the next Justin character Bull and the Amalia next Warner section introduced. At the bedside of Amalia's sister. As well, Saturday there's the audio play bar above. And then at the end of each section, you'll also have a song. And while she wastes away in this cold room. She will be whole one day, but I know she won't. Guilty to be me. This next page is a looping film where you read the prose and the image of a character who's now old looking back over time repeats itself. The music and the image and the prose working together. On this page, you can tap and again go to my website. And on this final page, here you can tap to learn about the research and all the books that are the references for the birth. I do not see you here in front of me. Our eyes look out together. I wanted anyone but you. And now you are mine. Sweet but young, kiss without tongue.